Hey, good morning, guys. It's Sunday, September 25th, 2022. A nice, cool, early fall day, and something that I've probably only mentioned just a couple of times. Never have done a video on my 2015 KTM Super Adventure 1290, and I'm telling you, this is a beast of a bike. This bike is unbelievable. And, uh, you know, I think I'm gonna take it for a ride today. First time in a long time, guys, getting on the bike. Yeah, this jacket without the liner, it's just mesh. So it's this is a good summertime. Actually, this is a convertible jacket all season. It has a general liner, a cold weather liner, and, and no liner. All right. Here we go guys, first time on the bike on YouTube. Definitely not uh, not used to riding. My hands are already tired. My forearms are getting uh, pumped from using the the clutch and the front brake lever. Yeah, definitely uh, not in the biking condition. So here we are, I uh, was so excited to get on the bike and get riding for the first time in over a year that I uh, forgot to put my updated tag on. I thought I had just a new sticker, but I didn't. I had to replace the whole plate, so I had to completely gear down. And because uh, it gets hot just sitting here, once you're running down the road and the air is running through, you're good to go. But uh, yeah, so let's gear back up and uh, see if we can get back on the road. Let's ride. Yeah, I mean, this bike is badass, but every time I decide to go for a ride, I get out and I enjoy it, but I'm like, yeah, I'd have more fun if I was in the Corvette. <laughs> so All right, guys, well, that was a fun uh, ride. Not really. It uh, ended fast because license plate, I don't know what the hell I did. I must not have got it tight enough, but the stupid thing fell off be somewhere between here and my mechanic buddy's house and I, um, it was driving me nuts so I had to follow my pathway home and needless to say I didn't find it. So I mean not, not a huge loss, I'll have to go back to the uh, license branch and um, have them issue me a new license plate. I don't ride the bike hardly ever but you know I may have taken it for a ride if I had a plate and I don't even have a stupid plate. So, but as always you know, when I uh, when I get the bike out, you know, I take it for a ride and I like it and it's fun and I'm like, yeah, I wish I was in the Corvette. <laughs> so we brought it home and we'll go get in the Corvette. Well, guys, since my bike ride didn't turn out very well, it's an even better day for a ride in the C8. Now let's get a little video of driving the car.
smiles on my face every time I drive it. Damn, that's a good looking car. That is a good looking car. You know, I don't know about you guys, but I, uh, I hate the, um, I hate the cars that, you know, my dad's good friend just bought one in the rapid blue and he had this, everything's blue. You know, the mirror caps are blue. The, he doesn't even have a spoiler on his car. The side air inlet is not the carbon flash, it's blue. And it, it needs the different colors. I've made all mine carbon fiber, but uh, it needs the silver wheels and the offsetting a carbon fiber or black or carbon flash uh, pieces to really give it the right look. And my car has the uh, 20 millimeter Paragon spacers with the Paragon uh, racing uh, tow hook, the uh, carbon fiber front splitter, carbon fiber front air inlet, the silver wheels, which the car came with black, but I, uh, I just, I hate the black wheels. I think the car needs, if, if not chrome, it needs, um, you know, silver or polished. Yeah, mirror caps, side air intake overlays, ground effect overlay, and the carbon fiber high wing. Oh, and I also did the uh, carbon fiber Stingray along with the license plate uh, frame. Camaro behind me, he'd probably be fine with it, but I, I'll take off kind of aggressively from the stop sign that's coming up, up here. Tried to keep up with me, he couldn't. 